Welcome back, folks. We are back on Iota Buddhas, and I have done a bit of cleanup work so that none of these towers are being fed any of their materials except what was left in chests and stuff. So they have a little bit of material left to, uh, to use. I have set up towers here with the matrixes. And sorry about that. That was a new subscriber. Well, I'm not sorry about that. I'm happy about that. Uh, so information matrixes and gravity matrixes here being remotely supplied. I have ensured that everything needed to make the matrixes on this planet is set up to be delivered over to the other one. The, um, the what's it called? Uh, Mars 6 or science planet. And we have a lot of refined oil here. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Don't really need that much stuff. Uh, why is this cut off? Uh, that shouldn't be cut off. Uh, let's get you going and you going. And it goes in here to power up those. It's all good. It's all good. Alright, so everything is good and let's head back to Mars 6. The Mars was right over there, I saw. There we go. Let's do it. So yeah, if you are enjoying our Enjoying. If you're enjoying, if you're enjoying uh, Dyson Sphere program, if you're enjoying the series, uh, why not leave a, a like and a subscribe if you're not subscribed already. It really helps me out a lot and I appreciate it so much. Uh, every like, every subscribe is greatly appreciated. And uh, if you have comments, suggestions, anything like that, please feel free to leave them as well. I read all my comments and I reply to by far the most of them. So any comments are also greatly appreciated. So I am really excited about getting this science planet up and running because that means that we, first of all, can get our mech, uh, our mecha uh, Icarus can uh, be upgraded. And that's the first thing that we're going to do. We're going to upgrade Icarus a bit. And then, of course, we're going to upgrade uh, our vein utilization, because that is important. That is important. So here we go. We're almost there. There it is. Can I hit it? Nope. OK. So, come back, planet, come back, there we go, base plant into the planet, and look at all of these that we set up over the last few episodes, they're ready to go now, they are ready to go. So, let's just start from an end, and say... Uh, local storage, local storage, local storage, remote demand, remote demand, remote demand. And we'll do the same here. Local storage, local storage, local storage, remote demand, remote demand, remote demand. And we will get all of these things going. Local storage, local storage, local storage, remote Demand, remote, demand, remote, demand. And I want 10,000 of each item here, that's fine. Local storage, local storage, local storage, remote, demand, remote, demand, demand. And that was that one. And it's just this one local storage, local storage, remote, demand, remote, demand, remote. 
Land. And these are going to be a problem, the quantum chips. We need to increase that by a lot. A lot. So while we're waiting for these things to come in, let's upgrade the mecha core first. Then we'll upgrade the communication control, the energy circuit, the drone engine. And then we'll go to ray transmission efficiency and veins utilization and logistics carrier engine. And I think that's all we can do. No, we can do one more. So let's do research speed uh, once as well. Okay. And here we need to do local demand as well. Uh, no, local storage remote demand. And is any coming? No. None is coming. So that is going to be a problem. We will not be getting the white science going because we don't have enough antimatter. That kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. Oh, here comes purple science. Or maybe it's because our antimatter is actually set to remote storage. All right, that's purple and blue coming in. Here comes red, I think. Yeah, red science coming in. Yellow. Man, I really wanted this to work, but I think I screwed up. That kind of sucks. Come on, yellow science. We have 2,000 on the way. And we're actually producing it now. Oh, and here is green. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's stuff coming in. So we're producing the yellow stuff, but it hasn't arrived from off-world yet. The stuff that we've already made. Okay. Are any of the others doing anything? No. We're waiting for some particle broadband. You're waiting for some circuit boards. You're waiting for some hydrogen. You're going. And you are definitely waiting for quantum chips. But it is going here. So let's head over to Mars 2 real quick and see what's going on. We have another couple of thousand coming in there. Okay. Uh, let's head over to Mars 2. Where is Mars 2? Mars 2 is over here somewhere. There it is. Let's head there. And quickly see if we are... Well, I have screwed up with the... Where is Mars 2? Did I just pass Mars 2? I think I just passed Mars 2. I did. Uh, if I screwed up with the antimatter, because that of course needs to be supplied uh, interstellar. So where are we making antimatter fuel rods? Or antimatter, we're just antimatter, not antimatter fuel rods. Uh, let's see. Where are we making antimatter? Pretty sure it's on this planet. There we are, making antimatter. Right over here, I think. Yep, yeah, and it is remote supply. 
So we're just not getting enough photons in. We are just not getting enough photons in. So that means that we need ray receivers. Receivers, there they are. Let's grab fifty. And head to Mars one. This was not the way I wanted the science to go, but well I wanted it to just kick into gear all of it. But without that, without those photons, that's not going to happen. So let's head to Mars 1 and set up some more ray receivers. Because we are certainly going to need them. And where are the ones that we already have? They're up here. We're not researching yet. Okay, so we're going to need to pave this over, I think, and we're definitely going to need to pave this over, and that'll do for now, alright, so I want these right here in the middle, I think. Something like that. And this is not on a shift thing. So let's just build them as tight as we can. All the way around. Photons. A lot of photons. You're gonna have to go away. Alright, so we'll get this going. see how we do. So we desperately need these photons for our research. Alright. So, and we have just a few hundred photons in there. That is not enough by any stretch of the imagination. So where are the graviton lenses coming down? They're coming down here. So they can continue coming down here. Come up and over. And come down. Wait, I want you in there. Okay, and then this will go around, but we need a lot of these guys in here, so let's just set them up. on a fault it is, but it should be okay. Or a te tectonic shift or whatever. 
whatever you want to call it. Alrighty. He's going. Should be fine. There we go, that's all the way around. And we just need to come all the way around here and come into these guys. Now this is of course gonna require more graviton lenses. Which isn't great. We're gonna need to increase our production of a lot of things. Uh, quantum chips is probably the most critical. Some chips are way short. Mainly because of plane filters, actually. Uh, and that, of course, is because of uh, Casimir crystals. Almost there, I think. Yep. There we go. Okay, and where is photons coming in? Photons are coming in there. So we need a we prefer to have it somewhere like but not there. Uh, so the photons are going up there, so I guess we'll have it here. And we'll send this up and send it over. down and then and then we can just run this around and run them out so this will help significantly on our antimatter production I think should be a huge boost but probably not a big enough boost probably not a big enough boost Two. Everyone deserves an output. Everyone deserves an output. Oh, 
Here we are. Okay. And we will prioritize that way. And we'll stick any that we got in there. Okay. Let's see how that does for us. Definitely gonna need more, aren't we? Uh, do... I want you to prioritize going up there. But you already are. Okay, that's fine. But that should be quite a few more photons coming in. Quite a few more photons coming in. How many do we have left of uh, these guys? 22. I kind of want to make another ring. Or make a ring down here as well. Because while this is good, it's not. When they're maxed out, I mean, these inner ones should be maxed out. They produce 10 a minute. Okay. Still not researching, though. We are still not researching. Which sucks. This is never gonna back off. This is never gonna back off. Up goes 500. We already have almost 100 again. It is going at a decent pace right now. Um, you know what, let's do ray receivers. We'll request a hundred. Okay. We're still not researching. Searching. That's not what I wanted. Yeah. We're almost up to 500 again. Which means they'll go out. Uh, let's quickly head over to Mars. If we can find it, there it is. And see how production is going. But also see where all of the antimatter is going because it's. I'm guessing it's going to antimatter fuel rods, right? Uh, I'm guessing all of it is going to antimatter fuel rods. Oh, no, that's Mars. 
three. Where the hell is Moss two? Moss two is there. I'm pretty sure. It'd be a little bit hard to see sometimes. Yeah, that's Moss two. end of the planet, I think it is. No, it's not. Alright, so... Let's set... So all of the antimatter is just being sucked into... Um, Antimatter fuel rods because of the logistics drones. So, what I think I'm gonna do is something like this Antimatter, come over there. Save. And we'll power you up. And we'll tell you that you can hold antimatter, but you cannot local supply it. You can only remote supply it. That means that we'll first remote supply and then we will local supply. Which might not be a good thing. Because that might mean that we're gonna run out of antimatter fuel rods. Oh, this is a balance balancing act, guys. This is a balancing act. Let's see how many antimatter fuel rods do we have right now. Uh, 5,000 almost. You know what? Let's set this to 5,000. And let's set you to remote or local supply as well. Basically, just will give us some extra antimatter storage then, which is fine. But we should be getting more antimatter now that we have more uh, photons coming in. All right, we have a thousand and ten critical photons coming in. soon. So we have no antimatter here. Antimatter fuel rods, we have 4,900 now. And so as soon as that hits 5,000, and the belt fills up and everything fills up, then we should start getting antimatter over to plus a thousand. We just got 500. Going out again, over 
towards it here. <sighs> We're almost up to the 5,000 in here now. Which is great. And once we are there, we need the belt to back up. We need the machines to back up. So there's 5,000 now. There's 5,000 in there now, and the belt is backing up. Until some of them go out, of course. Matter or something for the whites, but it's one of each. So that's good. Uh, and how much is coming in? A thousand right now. We need more to be coming in. We need more critical photons. Definitely need more critical photons. Yeah, that's the 500 that just arrived, gone. And then we're waiting for the next 500. It's not going fast enough with the critical photons. We need more. We need more. There's just no doubt about it. See how far the belt has backed up now. To here. Okay, well, we're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, yeah. As soon as the belt backs up, everything will be fine. I think. There are a few coming down the line, so... I wonder how many the machine can hold. Hopefully not a hundred. That would be a disaster. <laughs> that would be a disaster. I just received some. I'm wondering if I should just say no, don't local supply right now because we have 5,000 rods you know what, let's do it local storage and you are local well that's fine alright so getting some stored up So as soon as there's a thousand in there, it'll 
go out. So let's head over to my six. If I can find it. Mass four. Mass five. Where's my six? Mass one. Mass six is way over there. Fourteen astronomical units away. Jesus. Well, let's go. Okay. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, that was a nice landing. Alright, so we have... Those guys on the belt. We have those guys on the belt, but that's because we had them already. We're not getting the quantum chips we need. Uh, we have those, with those, with those, with those. And we're not getting the. What? What are you set to? Ah. Uh, let's do those instead, shall we? I selected the wrong ones. So, they're starting up. Oh, 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 oh! We are doing white science universe matrixes. Fan frickin' tastic! Nowhere near enough, but they're producing. And we are researching. We are researching. We have not gotten up to the top yet of any of them, but we are definite res definitely researching. Are definitely researching. Oh man, this is wonderful. But it would be more wonderful if we had more antimatter. So that is definitely going to be our project in the next episode to get even more antimatter going. We need a lot more. Oh, here comes the next thousand. We definitely need more antimatter. There's just no two ways about that. No two ways about that. What is our research rate right now? Can I see? 400%. But how many hashes of research are we doing? Research. 630, 40 hashes a second. It's not a lot. It's not a lot. Ah, that's better. But it's still not a lot. It is still not a lot. We have antimatter on the belt now. And this row, the first two rows are up to full. Three rows are up to full. Our three towers. 
first four towers are up to full. So we are getting there, and it is working. It is working. Which I'm very, very happy about. And for the actual research, we have basically two towers and a little bit going. So yeah, very, very cool indeed. Except that it's not a full line. We have another thousand antimatter on its way. But we need more antimatter, there's just no getting around that fact. No getting around that fact. We're getting antimatter all the way around here now. And these towers are growing and lighting up. So that's nice. It's getting more and more hashes a second. And once we get this research, we'll have an extra 2.4 gigajoules of max core energy. So that'll take us up to like 5.6, 5.6 or something gigajoules. That's not bad. And we're getting there. It's starting to pick up the pace now, the research. It's starting to pick up the pace. thousand hashes a second it's going up fast it's going up fast 1300 8400 very nice I felt this empty of antimatter but more is coming And there we have it, Mecha Core level 6. So we can get up to a lot more Giga Jewels in our tank now. And here comes the antimatter again. Are we going to get the last towers here up? Or is it just going to be like this, and that's the way it is? Huh? Tower 5 is fully lit. Tower 6 is getting there. Okay, okay. Probably stuck around eight and a half thousand hashes a second, simply because we don't have enough antimatter. That is the reason why. But we'll deal with that in the next one. We'll have to deal with that in the next one. Uh, we're not consuming any power, basically, but it's fine. So yeah, thank you very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.